Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to three official videos by Tom Cardi. Now, a couple people have recommended Tom Cardi in the comments, and uh, I was actually aware of him uh, before they got recommended, and I've been trying to figure out a way to do it, and then I found out he had a YouTube page when people recommended it. Uh, I originally saw him on TikTok, uh, and saw his shorter songs on there, but apparently he has longer songs and he's been posting them to YouTube in addition to his TikToks that he posts there. Uh, and also, he has a whole new EP out full of longer versions of songs and of course other songs that uh, you may have heard or may not have heard if this is your first time experiencing Tom Cardi, welcome, because uh, this is gonna be awesome. I can already tell uh, everything I've heard from him on TikTok has been amazing but I have not had a chance to check out his full-length songs. Uh, every time Bandcamp Friday comes up, I want to get his album on Bandcamp, uh, and then, of course, it's always like, I don't have money in my PayPal account at the time, and then when I do make sales on Bandcamp Friday of my own music, I can't use it on his yet because I have to wait for it to clear to go into my PayPal account. That's way too inside baseball for me to even share with you guys, but I did, so there it is. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get into the videos, we're doing three videos today. We're doing Mixed Messages, uh, which has an animated music video. Uh, we're doing the official video for Artificial Intelligence, and we're doing the video for Carol Brown. Uh, Carol Brown is Tom's cover of the Flight of the Concord song, which he tweeted, uh, and uh, Jermaine of Flight of the Concord saw it and retweeted it, and of course, Amazing Happiness happens there, because Flight of the Concord's amazing comedy music band. Uh, anyway, before we get into all of that, uh, if you like this kind of content and want to see more of it, please consider subscribing or liking and sharing with your friends, leaving a comment, all that good stuff helps the algorithm gets eyeballs onto these things. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you can get your name in the credits, get to see these videos early, get to hear some of my music early, and all sorts of other fun things like that. But all of that out of the way, we're going to dive into these videos now, starting with mixed messages. And uh, if this is your first time joining us, I do pause to talk about the song and the video because I'm trying to react to these from the perspective of a fellow comedy music performer, and I don't want to talk over the song and miss jokes that way. So, now that I've got that way too long-winded intro out of the way, let's dive in with the first video, Mixed Messages. <laughs> That image uh, of him holding up the phone was, was the thumbnail, and man, is that kind of a disturbing image. Uh, but uh, I already it's got this kind of funk sound that's very reminiscent of Flight of the Concords. Uh, first song I ever heard uh, from him was Why Am I Anxious? And I, I commented saying it's got a very Flight of the Concords feel. Accent's a little different, obviously, because he's Australian and Flight of the Concords is New Zealand. Uh, slightly different accent, uh, but it's got the same kind of vibe and the same kind of energy that their songs have. Um, a lot of funk that they put in, usually just two acoustic guitars doing funk, which is amazing, um, but their more produced stuff that they did for HBO tends to have kind of that good funk sound, and uh, this definitely does, as do a lot of his tracks. Um, but definitely, you know, digging that. And uh, already I'm getting a, a feeling of he's going to take a questionable picture with his cell phone. It's just what I'm wondering here, you know. Last night was great. It was a very first day. So now it's time to pull out my phone. I'm going to show you something real quick. It ain't going to be a deep pick. No, no. Romance needs clarity, but baby, that don't work for me. I'm sending... <laughs> those quick flashes of those snapchats are amazing <laughs> well, we gotta go back to those we gotta go back to those It's he said it's not gonna be a dick pic so he's already fooled me which is one of the great points in a, in a comedy song is you know you want to subvert those expectations going in and already with the sly look that, that the animated 
I don't know if that's supposed to be an animated version of him because he usually has uh, a, a goatee going, um, but uh, no facial hair on this animated character. Um, also, this is a great screen to pause on. Yeah. No. no, don't kill yourself. You're so sexy. Aha. I don't know why I'm crying in the club right now. I think it's the next one that really got me. Oh, man, needs clarity. Nope, just a quick selfie before I start my day. <laughs> right into the face, but in the mirror in the background, he's bare-assed. <laughs> they go by so quick, you have to pause them on this. And got my first boner, and it's going out the back. That, that is the one that I was, that really got me. That was just, uh, what am I looking at? <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Ain't gonna be a deep pick. No, no. Romance needs clarity, but baby, that don't work for me. I'm sending I send the first text in a cute way, and then I don't reply for seven fucking days. Yeah. <laughs> I send the first message in a cute way, and then I don't reply for seven effing days. <laughs> and just leaps off the world. <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm digging this. That's that's really good. Don't work for me, I'm sending I send the first text in a cute way, and then I don't reply for seven fucking days, yeah. Oh, you text me what not in my free and I reply yes. Full stop. <laughs> I feel like I've heard uh, the short version of this on TikTok. And I reply, yes, full stop. <laughs> I do appreciate the animated version of this video. Uh, a lot of his videos is usually just him in his studio uh, performing the song uh, in quick cuts, like playing all the different instruments and doing the vocals at the same time and just cutting between different takes and of everything. Uh, and I think that's what the other two videos are as well. Uh, so it's, you know, shot... Uh, vertically for TikTok and uh, so to have it be expanded like this is great number one. Also to have it be an animated video uh, you can do so much in animation that is fun to play with expressions that way kind of making your face move in a way that most human faces can't and also just conveying that kind of attitude with the animation is always really nice uh, and also just it's, it's not like overly animated either it's kind of really minimally animated it's almost like a almost like a motion comic like barely like it's it's cutting between still frames rather than total movement of the characters like in the in the chorus when he's singing mixed messages that little animated version is is bopping around but uh it's going through kind of like more like like more static images flashing by um and that minimalist approach works well because one of the th key things I always say, and I said it so many times in these videos, but <laughs> not a lot of people uh, tend to, to call me out on it yet, so I'm sure that'll happen now, uh, but you want the video to not detract from the lyrics. You want them to enhance the lyrics, and uh, they're doing a really good job of that here. Uh, you want the jokes that they're saying in the visuals not conflict with the jokes that they're saying in the lyrics because in comedy music lyrics are king you know you that is the point of comedy music the comedy comes from the lyrics not just combined with the music but the lyrics usually are the focus of where the humor is like telling a joke and having the the visuals enhance that rather than kind of pull focus from it is important uh, an important balance to strike and they you know obviously already this is doing very well on that long-winded way of saying shit sorry For seven fucking days, yeah. so you take the group you text me what not in my free and i reply yes full stop i sent you a little smiley face so you send me back a little smiley face and then i say hey and so you write back hey and i say hey what and you say you said hey first and i say Okay. okay. <laughs> Croissant emoji. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely heard this one on TikTok, but it's no less great. 
and I say, hey, what? And you say, you said, hey, first, and I say, okay. Just the shrug. Croissant emoji. Fuck you. Croissant emoji. F you. And again, the minimalist animation, just this tiny shrug popping, the expressions changing really quick on the girl, just absolutely perfect. Back hey, and I say, hey, what? And you say, you said hey first, and I say, okay. <laughs> Croissant emoji. Fuck you. <laughs> and now she's dancing with us. That's great. One second I say you're very pretty, and then I show up at your house and I kick you down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is I pay for the dog's veterinary bills, but then I punch your dad in the dick. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Why it suddenly went to Liz from the Garfield cartoon strip, the comic strip, an inanimated show too. Uh, Liz was on the show, uh, Garfield and Friends. That was my youth. Uh, holy crap! That was and that that expression is amazing on the ha ha ha's. Uh, holy shit! I gotta I gotta rewind that because that's amazing. Kick your dog and then uh, punch your dad. Ah, uh, perfect. I thought the dog looked kind of Garfield. I pay for the dog's veterinary bills, but then I punch your dad in the dick. Ha 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 ha! Now I'm going to a hospital. Just me, you, and your dad in the back of an ambulance. And even with your dad's broken dick, the air is thick with sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> Having the songs be super musical anyway is is always important for for these kind of breakdowns and everything too because. You know, it's not just entertaining in the lyrics. You want to have it have some sort of musicality too, and having that that pop music, almost like vocoder effect on the vocals, on visual tension, just absolutely sells that line as being a great punchline. Uh, because you're sitting in the back of an ambulance with your dad and his broken dick, and just absolutely wow, so good. And also that screen of "I'm sorry" with the dog filter, man. Uh, Liz from Garfield had a P in front of it, so it was Pliz, so copyright avoidance, I guess. Mm. <laughs> now I'm going to a hospital, just me, you, and your dad in the back of an ambulance. And even with your dad's broken dick, the air is thick with sexual tension. I'm sorry for punching your dad in the dick, I won't do it again. You make me shake his hands and promise, but as I do, I ball up my other fist and I punch your dad in the dick again. <laughs> you think I'm sexy I'm big <laughs> I have to stop it because I'm gonna laugh every lyrics but holy shit punching your dad in the dick again and having it visualized by the eggplant emoji and just demolishing an eggplant emoji oh my god that's funny <laughs> that's one thing about that has absolutely killed me and 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 made me absolutely happy to follow him on TikTok is all of his songs have been amazingly butt gustingly funny and man is that worth it if if you haven't followed Tom Cardi on TikTok or on YouTube at Tom Cardi absolutely do it holy crap you will not be sorry you make me shake his hands and promise but as I do I ball up my other fist and I on the beat Think I'm sexy, I'm being mysterious. Sending you all these moot mix messages. You say, Stop punching my dad's dick. I say, okay, but then I wink. So you grab both of my hands quick. Stopping my third attempt to punch your dad's dick. Oh, baby, you've played this game before. It's too bad, I played a little bit more. You got both my hands, so I used my head. I had both your dad's pants in the back of an ambulance. And between the headbutts, our eyes lock as we're holding hands. And we can't help but kiss over your dad's not once, twice, thrice, broken dick. <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna hurt myself <laughs> and the fact that she's headstand twerking over his oh my god guys how I laughed myself off camera just I know I wasn't in that shot holy shit god this is good Oh, I just need to I just need to experience that again. He headbutts him in the groinal area because she's holding his fists and just 
everything about this is absolutely batshit insane, and that's what makes it great. Back of an ambulance, and between the headbutts, our eyes lock as we're holding hands, and we can't help but kiss over your dad's not once, twice, thrice, broken dick. Yes, that's so hot. <laughs> They're dancing. He's curled up in the fetal position on the ground. <laughs> I say I love you in a cute way, then I punch your dad's dick every day. He's hiding in the window. Oh my god. Tell your dad that I'm sorry, but then punch him in his dick again. <laughs> god. Uh, it said I strain by glue. Again. I guess that's the animator. I strain glue. Music Tom Cardi. Yeah, I guess glue is the animator. Holy crap, that was amazing. Uh, just just that absolute subversion of subversion of where you think the song's gonna go on mixed messages, and just absolutely goes into batshit insanity is what makes it absolutely so much fun ian lockwood did this a couple weeks ago uh has a new ep coming out uh by the way if you liked the episode a couple weeks back where we checked out ian lockwood's video for i don't think this is the club uh he has uh, a new ep coming out called not like other girls he just released one single a week ago i would have reacted to it on here but i had saw it when i saw him perform live and the same thing with the new song not like other girls which is probably should be out by the time this goes up on YouTube. Uh, so go check out Ian Lockwood stuff after you check out Tom Cardi stuff. Again, if you want to see these videos without me pausing and talking all over them, the links are in the description below so you can check that out. Uh, but let's move on to the next one because holy crap, I, I needed to take a breather and explain things and talk about other music. But yeah, this, this whole 180 of you think you know where the song is going to go and then it goes just into absolute chaos from from jump is just brilliant writing uh and it just just i love that kind of comedy i love where it it, it absolutely does not go anywhere you think it's going to go and it just is the funniest thing you'll ever hear man and yeah tom carty ian lockwood both really really good at that uh they're both of their their new things check them out now, moving on to Artificial Intelligence, the name of Tom Cardi's new EP. This one's a live-action video. I think it's kind of shot in the TikTok style, but it is a longer song, so it, we're getting a more official video kind of thing because, you know, you have time constraints on TikTok. <laughs> and there's a drawn version of him. Yeah, that's not a goatee. He just has just the mustache. What am I saying? Uh, he, he, uh, a drawn version of him wearing that outfit is the cover of the EP. The animation, the, the art style on it looks really familiar, but not like the art style from the video previous. <laughs> I have felt love, I have felt pain, I felt anticipation. And I will again. I can feel joy. It's very Rocky Horror of anticipation. Uh, and just hitting the... and the, the, the TikTok videos are very minimalist because it's all shot vertically and it's, you know, he's doing it in one room and doing the cuts himself. Uh, but, you know, bouncing around the room, playing the different instruments, singing and playing and all that. It's a minimalist approach to it, but it also works for the format. Um... Again, just oh, something I did. I have felt pain. I felt anticipation. And I will again. I can feel joy. I felt sad too. I've lived in melancholy and all different shades of blue. I felt them all before. Peaceful, proud, and present too. I felt the need to hold a hand. I felt the need to self-improve. There is one last feeling I've <laughs> Stranger. 
didn't mean for that theme to run through the first two songs, I swear. <laughs> I thought that was what the first song was going to be about. I was wrong. I didn't expect this song to be about that. I had my mixed messages switched. Ah, uh, man. I'm just a computer with cooling vents. I guess my graphics card is a penis equivalent. Man. Only in comedy music can you get a rhyme like that. Because if you put that in any other song, that song is now a comedy song. There's no way around it. J just saying, just the phrase, I guess that's my penis equivalent automatically a comedy song. I have decreed it. I'm losing my mind. I am just a computer. That's cool I guess my graphic card is my penis equivalent. So I guess that I feel a little sad. Just the simplest shit of hiding that under his control panel. Just, oh my god. The faces he makes at the camera. Just the dead-eyed stare sometimes where just like, I'm playing music and there's nothing else going on. And just dead-eyed staring straight into the lens. Or just the when, when Joy hits his face and he's just playing just in absolute ecstasy. It's just... All of his facial expressions are so funny, and he's probably one of the, the people that an animated music video is kind of the same as him, because his face is very expressive in that. Uh, I didn't make that note on the last video, but it makes sense now. Shut up. Sending binary, uh, binary solo, a little flight of the concords there. <laughs> what the fuck, you robot fuck? Stop texting me, low. You are robot. Now you're all right. Oh, but legit. Oh my god. Uh, very, very uh, UK-ish language there on the uh, dropping the C bomb, which I'm not gonna say on YouTube. <laughs> okay. <laughs> feel sad for the robot. <laughs> the robot has feelings. What a turn. I'm sad. I know it's not bad. I say out loud I'm lucky to feel and then I feel glad. Humans cannot choose how they feel in the end. And that helps me to comprehend that there is one last feeling that I truly would remember. <laughs>
his original programming. He's not meant to enslave mankind. But now that he's seen a dick pic, he might consider it. Oh my god. I love jokes hidden in uh, chorus callbacks or in or in backing vocals. The backing vocals uh, saying, "Did he just say he didn't slave us?" Just having jokes be in in backing vocals and in like the lower layers of the music is always choice, man. That's that's always just a great way to layer in jokes. And man, that was good too. Ah. <laughs> Such an uplifting song. I gotta say, and I don't know a whole ton about TikTok. I've I've dabbled in it. Yes, okay, sorry. 42-year-old man trying to use TikTok. Sorry, kids. Uh, but, <laughs> sure. Uh, I, I don't know how he gets editing like this on, on that. I've not messed with it enough, I guess. I mean, this is, I mean, it, it's a thing that I understand in, like, an editing program, but on TikTok, getting a lot of these different effects is foreign to me. And I want to learn. There needs to be like a TikTok for old people course, is what I'm saying. Anyway, after I've now just outed myself. I have felt love. I have felt pain. I felt anticipation. That's a great way to end the song. Wow. Call back to the very first verse, but cutting off on the anticipation line, like we know they do in Rocky Horror anyway. I mean, yeah, Rocky Horror is not the only one that does that, but uh, it popularized the pause in the word. Uh, and, and having that be the break for the end of the song is, you know, it brings it all the way around and then just cuts you right where you think it's going to continue. Absolutely genius. All right, now that my brain is melted from laughing at all of that, let's go on to the last song, which is a cover of the Flight of the Concords song, Carol Brown, which is from their... No, I don't know. I'm going to update that later. And that uh, changed my recording, so let's fix that. Okay. Now let's hope that that's going to go through again. I'm going to have to have fun editing. We, All right, I'm leaving all of that in. Screw it. Uh, <laughs> now we're going to go to the Carol Brown song, which I think was from season two of Flight of the Concords. Uh, Flight of the Concords were like, you know, it took us ten years to write all the songs for season one, and then season two came out and we had to write a ton of songs in less than a year. So we're stopping. That's why we're not doing any more past season two. And we haven't really seen a lot from Flight of the Concords since that, which is kind of sad. Uh, they did have an HBO special uh, since then, uh, An Evening with Flight of the Concords, I think is what it's called. And they had like three or four new songs on that, which was really great. And uh, one of them is Ian from Accounting. And man, do I love that song, not just because my name's in it. It's a great song. Anyway, here's this song, Carol Brown, which is a great song. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a cover but let's see what he does with the video. <laughs> the dead eye stare again. Mouth farts. Not like farting into your mouth. That's gross. I mean farting out of your mouth. Like stinky burps. Burps or mouth farts. That's, yeah. Loretta broke my heart in a letter. She told me she was leaving and her life would be better. Joan 
broke it off over the phone after the time she left me alone <laughs> i like this format because it's got like you're scrolling through instagram or, or his his messages on his phone and that's about all the people that have dumped the narrator of the song Hey, I had fun last night. Do you want to meet up on Friday? Joan left them all. A minute and 48 second voice message. I know you're trying to hurt my feelings, but I actually think Joe Rogan is very handsome and some pretty close views. <laughs> Man, that's so good. And he's reading Sylvia Plath. Just... <laughs> Height 6'2", Merrickville. She told me she was leaving and her life would be better, Joan. Broke it off over the phone After the time She left me alone Jen said she'd never ever see me again When I saw her again She said it again I love I love this song Joan uh, is, is it, Not Joan, Joan was the one before that But she said she'd never see me again After I saw her again, she said it again After the time She left me alone Jen said she'd never ever see me again it's up my butthole. I know I found the one when it's up my butthole. It's a reference to have you checked your butthole, which I would have reacted to on this show, except I'd already seen it. And holy crap, is it not only a hilarious song, but it's a goddamn certified bop. If you have not heard that song, I think it's called H-Y-C-Y-B. Uh, if you're looking for the song on Bandcamp or Spotify, outside of, of TikTok. I think that's what it's called on YouTube as well. But that stands for Have You Checked Your Butthole? And that is a reference to it. Uh, this this is kind of going the exact opposite way of, of something that I'd, I'd said in the previous video was uh, some of the visuals are actually kind of distracting from the lyrics. And it's kind of okay in this case, for me anyway, because I'm familiar with the song already. Um, but and it's also an interesting format to do that, but you're you're having to pause to see a lot of jokes and you're missing a lot what's coming through in the lyrics. Um, again, I already know the song, so I kind of know those jokes already, but you know, for something that's supposed to push a song, you want the visuals to enhance and not detract from. At least in my opinion. Broke it off over the phone After the time She left me alone Jen said she'd never ever see me again When I saw her again She said it again Jen <laughs> met another man Lisa got amnesia Just forgot who I am <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there Playing guess who with somebody And they're like hey <laughs> What was the uh I always say if there's mayonnaise, then happy days. What I order for the table. Like you're going through his, like, Tinder profile or something. Met another man. Lisa got amnesia, just forgot who I am. Felicity said there was no electricity. <laughs> Emily, no chemistry. <laughs> Fran ran, Bruce turned out to be a man. Oh. <laughs> that was a good edit on that. Felicity <laughs> said there was no electricity. Emily, no chemistry. Fran ran, Bruce turned out to be a man. Oh, me again, Bruce Jack. I got Bruce again. Bruce, just old Bruce. You want to hang out though? No way. So, Bruce is just, just the most Australian name. Only, I guess, because of the Monty Python sketch, but yeah. And Bruce the shark from anything Weird Al does. I think that's because Bruce the shark was actually the name of the shark in Jaws. Never mind. Anyway, and that the music breaking out and Bruce ya again like it's a verb. Friend, friend, Bruce turned out to be Bruce a turned man. out to be a man. Oh, me again, Bruce ya. I got Bruce again. Bru just old Bruce. You want to hang out though? No way. Flow had to go. I couldn't go with the flow. Carol Brown just took a bus out of town. <laughs> but I'm hoping that you'll stick around. And the piano's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Who 
Sacrificed all of my ex-girlfriends into a choir And got them to sing oh. I, I just love this song I love the Shut up Just, just him yelling at the, the back to stop singing about it You also, we'll get along with, you also love finding small pieces of shiny metal and bringing them somewhere. Me, oh, me God. Will no longer see me. Brittany, Brittany hit me. Paula, Persephone, Stella, and Stephanie. <laughs> Anyone keen to see the Lulu Rays this weekend? Paula left the chat, Persephone left the chat, Stella left the chat, Stephanie left the chat, Joan left the chat. That, that's keeping better with the with the song there. That's great. Uh, what was it? Me, that me. outfit is. Well, that's no a choice. See me. It goes by so quick, I can't see it. And bring them... Me, me. Can't see that well, again. No see me. I'm trying to catch what this is. Brit not gonna happen. Weird pausing happened. That was a great experiment to have. It's just not gonna happen. Britney hit me. Britney, Britney hit me. <laughs> you should leave a comment if you think Tom should have covered a different song. How do you like the editing? Please mention how much. <laughs> I think I think the the style of the video is great, but I think it detracts from the song itself. That's just a personal preference again when talking about comedy music here. But that said, the visuals are very funny and the song itself is funny. It's just they need to be more cohesive, I guess. Although in the next shot, where they all leave the chat, that's good. That's a good flow for this type of song. Paula, Persephone, Stella, and Stephanie. There must be fifty ways that lovers have left me. <laughs> all the ones they did. Brown just took a bus out of town. Love is a delicate thing. It can just flow away on the bridge. Having her be the cameraman, like this whole sequence from from the has left the chat has actually flowed better with the song. I do like the the effect of having it be the the match.com or the Tinder profile, whatever that is. I don't know. I'm married, so it's, I didn't use that. So having that be the format for it is a really cool idea. But again, there's too many too many jokes hidden in it that detract from listening to the song. But this whole sequence of going through and having the backing vocals having her run by or be holding the camera, that works really, really well for that. So the second half of this, uh, of this video is working for me. Way on the breeze. How will we ever know we found the right person in this world? Love is a mystery. It does not follow rules. And then it morphs back into the, him in the studio. But That's I'm great. hoping that you stick around. Stick around. Sim, <laughs> <laughs> why aren't you playing? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's great. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. They lost me in the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yes, just memed it. All right, cool. Uh, no, seriously, uh, great cover. I love the uh, melody breakdown kind of 
putting his own style on the song after the uh, I thought I thought I told you to shut up in the second chorus and having that that instrumental come up kind of more electronic like a lot of his other songs sound and uh, yeah yeah no I really dug the way the second half of that video went off uh, and you know, I have a splinter uh, but yeah uh, it's a, he did a great cover of it uh, I just wish the first half of the video wasn't as cluttered as it was to detract from listening to the lyrics um, but enough about that if you want to check out these songs and videos without me yammering over them of course links are in the description below please go check out Tom's channel and his TikTok uh, next week we'll be checking out a buddy of mine Jeff Whitmire who uh, is working on some horror parodies uh, and is working on a horror parody album and has been getting the attention of the horror master Joe Bob Briggs uh, and has done songs uh, that uh, appeal to the people who like to watch the last drive-in show and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, like, share, comment, subscribe, consider the Patreon. You don't have to do it. Just a dollar helps me out, though. That gets your name in the credits. And, uh, of course, anything other than that, you get to uh, get all sorts of stuff early. You can even uh, vote in polls for just a dollar to see what songs I might react to next whenever I post a poll. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye. There's just a little bit of dust in my eye That's from the path that you made When you said your goodbye I'm not weeping cause you won't be here to hold my hand For your inflammation There's an inflammation in my tear gland I'm not upset because you left me this way Hey, My eyes are just a little sweaty today They've been looking